Hi everyone. I've been asked to explain a little more about uh, using the east point um, in trying to find a projection line that is fairly accurate. So something I've been playing with recently is the east point. Um, and if you take a look at all these coordinates, uh, here's the regular horizon and this is the celestial equator or the ecliptic and where these two come together right here uh, point east is the east point so it's it's uh, another fast moving cycle uh, a little bit more than a day long and um, so let me let me show you then how I've been plugging in cycles from the uh, Q spectrum. So let's see. I'll bring bring all this in here. Um, so I have Q spectrum two set up, an RPO of two set to classic, and the cycles that are centered around fifty days. Um, anywhere from 40 to 60 or so, uh, seem to provide a, a accurate uh, and elegant intra-week swing. Um, <clears throat> in other words, it's looking out at it one-week time horizons, as I like to do. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I just clicked Calculate and found that the highest point um, of this particular cycle was right here at 54.4587 days. Um, then I've plugged it into my spreadsheet here um, and right since it's a 24-hour cycle um, I've divided one day by 54.4587 days to get this constant. <clears throat> and then clicking on the astronomy composite here. Um, hold on a second. And so here's the east point right over the VX or vertex and set to geo and manual. <clears throat> and this is where you can plug in a very specific um, value like that. So um, I took that and plugged it in here. Um, and I also experiment, <coughs> excuse me, with the um, smoothing degrees here. Um, and mostly I've been leaving it on 360, but let's see, hit OK. Um, I still have a little more work to do to figure out if there are times when I want to take it off of 360. Um, but this is tracking the previous price pretty nicely with this swing turn here and up. So that's a good indication that I have this in the correct direction of normal right now for the upcoming week. <clears throat> so um, smooth orb is also 5%. Oscillator fast. Again, I set these according to what I'm looking at over here to try to catch these swings. So if this was set to very fast, it'll knock that swing backwards, not so good. And normal, it'll take it in the other direction. So, so there you have it. This is my method currently for pinpointing a specific cycle using Q-Cycle, Q-Spectrum 2, and putting that into um, this manually defined harmonic, which I find to be a lot more accurate uh, than doing uh, just 1H or 2H here. 
<clears throat> okay, good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.